now here we are children we are going to do a few more sums on parallel lines so first let us have a look on this question these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel we have to get x now the technique here will be i'll put this as b now i will only see this line tr is a transversal and these two lines are parallel so the co-interior angles are supplementary in any parallel line so what we can write 130 plus b is equal to 180 why co-interior angles are angles are supplementary so that is the reason supplementary so that means b is equal to 50 degree so we got b once we got b now we forget about this line we think this line is not there now what will happen b plus x will be equal to 70 by their alternate angles so b plus x will be equal to b plus x will be equal to 70 degree why because angle pqr and angle qrs are alternate angle angle p q r is equal to angle q r s because they are alternate angle so b plus x is 70 degree so that means if b we have got 50 so 50 plus x is equal to 70 degree that means x is equal to 20 degree so we are finished with the first question now second question little bit of common since we have to use what we do while solving this problem they are telling find x either this way or this way we can straight away find x but just by just doing a little bit of construction so what we do is we draw a line over here from the point the vertex of x that is from this point we draw a line parallel we draw a line parallel and the whole angle is x but we call this as a and this as b so these two lines are parallel and this is the third line so if this line is parallel to this and this this line is parallel to this then these two are also parallel so all the three lines are parallel now 40 will be equal to a suppose i take line l and i name it as l so since l is parallel to m therefore 40 will be equal to a alternate angle property so i've got a here then m and z now since m is parallel to z that means b is equal to 70 because alternate angle property now see what has happened angle b and angle a plus b is equal to x but angle a plus angle b is equal to x so x is equal to 70 plus 40 that is equal to 110 now suppose this was this this side also was asked as y then after taking out 110 so angle around a point is 360 so angle y would have been 360 minus angle x that is uh, that is 360 minus 110 will be 250 degree so we go to now next question this side same common sense method just draw a line just draw a line parallel just draw a line uh, just just extend this line straight away and let us name it as b so now see in our previous classes we have understood that this outside angle is equal to b plus 20 because in any triangle the exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angle or you can go slow way let me name it as x then 130 plus x is equal to 180 because these two are angles on a straight line same straight line so x will be 50 now in any triangle sum of the three angle is 180 so x plus b 
plus 20 is equal to 180 now that means x is 50 and this is 20 so b will be equal to 50 plus 20 is 70 180 minus 70 that is equal to 110 50 plus 20 is 70 180 minus 70 is 110 so b is 110 but a and b since these two lines are parallel but a and b are corresponding angles but a is equal to b corresponding angle this implies that a is also equal to 110 degree so the last question now we are coming up to is very very important again so i'll use a red pen i will rub off this sum now see we draw a line parallel over here draw a line parallel I call this see this whole angle is Q I call this as A and this is B now the sum becomes easy first thing is P plus A is equal to 180 degree let us see P plus A why they are 180 because this is a co-interior angle these two are co-interior angles so P plus A is 180 degree that means A is equal to 180 minus p now again b is equal to r this is co interior angle now next is b is equal to r by alternate angles so now what will happen q will be equal to a plus b so q will be equal to 180 minus p plus what is b b is equal to r so a ka value yahan rakh diye 180 minus p so we get an equation now p goes this side p q is already here r will go this side sign will change is equal to 180 degree and this is proof so rewind these sums and see once or twice thank you